Hello, and welcome to yet another interactive session from Axelis Mavens. I'm Bob Sashabri. Today we speak about a very important part of our life, communication. Communication can do a lot of good, be constructive, and at the same time can be destructive. It can make or break relationships, and we are in the business of fostering relationships. The most common mode of communication is speaking. While speaking, we can gauge the mood of the environment, gauge the mood of the audience, the mood of the person we are talking to by their facial expressions, by the tone of the voice, the loudness of the voice, or by the body language. Things are different when we write to the person. So you have to guess the reader's mood. You know the environment is tense and people are very sensitive and quick to find faults in what you say or do. So the tone of your letter has to convey exactly what you want to say. How we communicate with our clients is of paramount importance. This means dealing with your clients and customers with empathy. Smartphones allow us to send and receive messages. And we, are, we do it very quickly because we are not apprehensive about interrupting someone by calling them on the phone. So we find it convenient to quickly send a message. But this convenience leads people to make embarrassing mistakes that may prove detrimental in a professional interaction. For example, you could easily miss a spelling error while typing out a message on your phone or appear or you may appear too casual or unprofessional in your tone or in content. People use abbreviations and emojis to ensure their messages that are short and to the point. But for a person who doesn't understand abbreviations, he has to Google it and to find out what exactly you're trying to say. An emoji is certainly uh, doesn't find a place in, uh, in uh, professional interactions in a formal letter. So therefore, in most cases, emails are a much better way to communicate as opposed to a verbal or a WhatsApp communication as the discussion is clear and organized. Human beings are great at choosing to understand whatever is convenient. Consider the email as a formal letter that needs to be professional and clear. And like all formal letters, there are etiquettes to be followed in emails as well. Possessing a good email etiquette reflects professionalism and courtesy, and that will make the recipient respond positively and provided the email is concise, polite and structured. Well, it will definitely ensure a positive response. Axelis Mavens teaches over 24 rules for business etiquettes and business writing. Follow the rules, gain and retain customer and grow your business. Have a great day. Bye for now.